Hi, Scarlett. Carrie here. Um, as a parent uh, with a child on the waiver and speaking for parents with children in Florida with special needs, I was just curious what services you see parents using the most once they get the waiver. Um, so it really depends on the age because the services are kind of bracketed off by the specific age groups. Uh, for example, a child who's under age 21, technically, if they're still living at home um, and not in a group home setting, then the only services that waiver technically funds are respite and respite, actually. They would cover um, some durable medical equipment, and then they would also cover um, environmental modifications. So like if you needed your bathroom to be modified for a roll-in shower chair, um, doorways widened for wheelchair accessibility, um, like Hoyer lift, like everything for the ceiling, stuff like that. Those are really the only things that waiver covers for children under age 21 and in the family home. Mm -hmm. um, respite, again, is waiver, but kids are also eligible for um, personal care assistance, or actually they call it personal care services now, and that's through Medicaid state plan. So a lot of families do use that through Medicaid state plan. They'll also use, um, they'll get their consumable medical supplies, um, dietary supplements. Um, those are, and then all of the therapies, of course. So ABA, speech, OT, and PT would all be covered under Medicaid. Um, or was I going with that? So the personal care is an interesting one though, because when it's being funded by Medicaid, mm -hmm. so up until age 21, it is only for the parents to be able to work. Mm -hmm. So you can only request specific hours, like if your child gets home from school at three and you don't get home from work until six or you don't get off of work, it's not even for travel time, it's just for those specific when you get off of work. So if you get off at six, then you re request three hours, you would request from three until six, Monday through Friday. Um, the other thing that personal care services will cover is if a, if a parent has their own disability or medical limitation, then it will cover more hours because of that. Okay. So, so co most common waiver service for kids under 21 is respite mm -hmm. um, and then home modifications. Uh, there, now, that being said, there are kids who um, behave, usually it's behaviorally, they, they, it's not safe for them to be in the family home anymore. So then group home is a service that waiver would cover no matter what age. That's an available service from age. You don't see it for really young kids, but I have had kids as, as young as, I think 12 was my youngest, who were receiving group home services, and that would be funded by waiver. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Then as kids get older, the array of services changes pretty drastically. So at age 21, it's no longer considered respite. It's now considered personal supports. Mm -hmm. And the personal care would go away from Medicaid state plan. And it would be, it would all be lumped in as personal supports. Respite and PCA services are all now considered personal supports. Um, so those would be for in the home and personal support staff can take children and adults out into the community. Mm -hmm. um, another big service that you see when kids turn 22 and they're no longer in the school system, you see a lot of ADT, adult day training and transportation. It's not called ADT anymore. It's actually called life skills. And then life skills under the life skills umbrella, it's like a category. It um, supported living coaching mm -hmm. is considered a life skills, supported employment and um, companion services, as well as the actual at the day program service. So those are all considered life skills, but they're technically different services. They're, they're under the same umbrella. Um, and then again, group home placement is really at any age level 
Um, once kids turn 21, the therapies also are no longer covered by waiver or by Medicaid. So your support coordinator kind of has to stay on top of things and you request those funds through waiver. So I see with older adults, um, you'll see all the behavioral therapies, any of the therapies, PT, OT, speech, ABA, um, mental health services can be covered by waiver, dietitian services, pretty much anything that insurance no longer covers. Um, and that also includes the consumable medical supplies, durable medical equipment, home modifications. So pretty much all of those. But the most common services are for sure respite, group home, personal supports, um, day program and transportation. Um, and then you can have, I, I worked with a lot of adults who lived somewhat independently. They either had live-in staff or um, staff who came to the house and helped them eight to 10 hours a day. That's not as restrictive as a group home and that's called um, supported living. Okay. But it's provided the service, the actual service is called personal support still. So those are the biggies and it really just depends on the age group. Okay. Um, not to make this video too long, but why does it change right at that age? Because someone like my daughter Hazel, I mean, her skills aren't going to magically change overnight when she turns. Right. Right. Um, because that's how Medicaid is designed. So waiver used to cover all of those things years and years ago, but then to try to alleviate some of the financial burden, Medicaid started picking up the tab for personal care, for the therapies, for things like that. However, Medicaid still only covers those things up to age 21. I'm guessing it's because in their minds by age 21, they don't need it anymore. You know, like someone's in college or they kind of base it on the typical population, but it's not. Right. Yeah. So because Medicaid no longer covers it, then waiver has to, they're the, they're the payer of last resort. So they have to pick it up. They have to pick up that tab. Um, and then age 22 is because kids age out of the school system. So the school system is no longer providing funding for a day, you know, a, daytime activity and the transportation to and from. Mm -hmm. So that's why those ages are specific like that. Makes sense. Yeah. Thank you.